Chris, I need to know what is going on with a man named Sua Cravens. So let's get the safety position out of the way. And while we're doing it, let's we got to talk about this because apparently the report comes out. What was it earlier in the week or last Sunday. week? That he, Sunday that he's Sunday. contemplating retirement. Like what? And uh, then apparently Bruce Allen talked him out of it. And now we're now he's on the what exempt list or something like that. Yeah, and there's a couple of technicalities that are kind of interesting. Yeah, I, um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just turn the show over to you now. What the heck is going on? I don't know. Nobody. All right. Nobody. There you go. No, <laughs> that's it. Okay, let's move on. Um, it, listen, there are things that get dropped in your lap that you just kind of sit there and scratch your head, and you just don't have a good answer for. You know, yeah. you don't have an analysis for, and and this is one of them. Um, <sighs> <laughs> telephone real life folks um <laughs> it, the the bottom line is this uh sua cravens sometime saturday evening did a group text um with his uh group with his uh position mates the secondary right basically telling them he was done he loved him peace out uh, went and talked to the Redskins front office. The Redskins front office said, look, don't make a rash decision. He indicated he wanted to retire. Um, and the, 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 Red, the Redskins said, look, go home. We've got some options that we can do to give you some time. And they've done that. Uh, so I don't know how much of this is maybe Sue Craven's has lost the desire to play football. I don't know. There's a lot of talk about him having some family issues he's having to deal with, and mm. that's kind of weighed on him. Um, I'll I'll say this up front. Sue Cravens doesn't owe any of us any kind of explanation. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, and that, that's a very important point to make. You know, I I, I'm not mad at this. Yeah. I'm not mad. I'm not blaming anybody. I mean, Sue Cravens is 22 years old, Yeah, and he's got free will. I was going to say, I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, you can't get um, mad at a guy for making a personal decision. You and know? if his decision is to quit football, I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame him for that. That's his call. Right. Um, do I think he's, he's got a good career out in front of him? He certainly seems to. Um, but I, I would, there are players that if they had pulled, you know, if, if they had decided to do this, that I would probably be more upset just because, Hey, you know, I can't believe you're doing this after what the kind of career you've had. But 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 to but be Sue fair, Cravens, though, you know, just hasn't had enough of a foothold here to really get upset even about his playmaking. That, that, that's a good point. I mean, I guess you can't miss what you didn't have. But at the same time, this guy was a what second round draft pick last he year. He was. He, and you know, you guys have had you know so many mix ups at the safety position. You know, oh, yeah. you guys were kind of hoping he could be some stability. Yeah. Well, oh, there's no him. doubt. There's no doubt. He he definitely was a large part he was of a, the plan. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Again, it's um. It, it's sort of shocking. It, it's it's very shocking. I mean, you you don't expect very many twenty. You don't expect your second round pick from a year ago. <laughs> to even be contemplating this. But what I wanted to kind of talk about is is the Redskins played this very well. Um, if they put you, if a team puts you on the reserve exempt list and they notify you that they're doing that, then there is a five-day window that essentially you, you have five days as that player to answer the team and try to get something going here. Hmm. Uh, but that team essentially has five days. If you don't come back, then you're done for the year. Now, the difference in this situation and the reason the Redskins got a four game or a four a four game roster exemption is because the 53 man roster was already set. Right. So it provides some protection. That little caveat provides some protection for the team. Okay. To say, look, we've already solidified our 53. This guy was on it. You know, what are we supposed to do? So basically they get a little extra time. So there's a four-week window now for Sua Cravens to figure out what he wants to do. I don't know. Four weeks may not be enough. Um, but at least there is a four-week buffer for him to, to sort things out. And in the inside of that four weeks, um, the Redskins can begin. It, it gives them an opportunity to evaluate who they have. What's the Shazer ever going to look like? Sure. Um, 
Do they need to maybe move uh, Schweringer to strong safety and maybe start rookie Monte Nicholson at free safety? I mean, there's any number of, of combinations here that you could go through. That Nicholson pick, man, it's turned out to be a lot more <laughs> helpful the guy than guy looked we good thought. in the preseason, but we'll get to that in just a minute. But, um, but anyway, I, there's been a lot of um, a lot of a lot of very ugly comments on Twitter <laughs> toward sure. towards Sue Cravens and. Look, I'm not here to tell fa- tell fans how they should or shouldn't react to something. That's completely your business. Um, my position again is I don't have anything to be mad at. Sewer Cravens hasn't put one nickel in my pocket. He hasn't taken one nickel out of sure. my pocket. Well, so and again, if, I, I think if, you have to respect the individual, man. Yeah, you if know, he plays, it's... he plays. Uh, I think he's got some patching up to do if he comes back in the locker room. Sure. Um, I think there is a camaraderie. I think there is uh, a trust factor that these guys have in each other. And, you know, when a guy does make a decision like this, uh, he's got some rebuilding to do. There was a report that uh, this has happened before. He was injured at USC uh, and basically went missing for three days. Mm -hmm. Now, this was not brought out into the light during the draft process. This was information that teams weren't privy to. Um, but I don't know. Maybe Sewer Cravens, people handle stress differently. Different ways, yeah. Uh, some people hit it head on. Some people go into a shell. Some people run away. I mean, so anyway, whatever Sewer Cravens has going on in his life, I hope he gets it sorted out. But he's got to get it sorted out from a life standpoint. Put football on the back burner. Right. You get these other stuff figured out. Then see where football slots. Yeah, and, and I um, think uh, I think so many times as fans we forget that these are people, you know. Too, yeah, you know what are, I mean. These are these are people that you know we like to think these guys have tons of money and therefore they don't have any problems. Yeah, and they have um, nothing else. They're to do. still subject to the same situations we go through in our lives. I mean, that's just the facts. Yeah. 